Hey guys, and welcome to a quick video from VR Flight World. Today we're just going to be going over a quick tip on how to get uh, rid of some of the stutters if you're having stutters in X Plane 11 with VR. Uh, this applies to Oculus Rift, so if you're a Vive user, I'm sorry, this probably won't fix it, but uh, with Oculus, I find this uh, does fix some of the, the problems here. So let's get into it. So, first, you can see my screen here. I got the um, the file tree open and you can tell I'm, I went into this PC into local disk the programs files oculus support and then oculus diagnostics now you're going to see a list of items and the one we're interested in is oculus debug tool dot exe all right so first right click on that go down to create shortcut and yes, you want to put a shortcut. That way you can find it easy because you don't want to go through all that every time. Now open it up. This is what it's going to bring up here. And you can see you have quite a few options. The first one here is, um, this is how many pixels running. I believe it comes out default to zero. You can add 1.3 is pretty good. And all it does is it's super sampling. So it's adding more pixels in your screen than your screen actually has. So one would be equal to your Oculus Rift. Zero would be equal as well. And the reason you want to do this, just it, it adds a lot more detail and it allows your uh, computer to provide you with a better image. So if you can increase that, um, all the better. But uh, a lot of systems won't actually allow you to increase that too much without affecting your FPS and uh, really ha hampering your system there and causing it to uh, slow down. So I'd leave, you can leave that as one or 1.3 works well. Uh, down here at the bottom, this is where I really wanna focus. If you notice, this will be on auto for you. Change that to force 45 FPS ASW enabled. I find this really helps when you're, you're flying. You'll get some stutters here and there when it's on auto, and it seems to be when it's transitioning between um, something that has no scenery, or maybe you have this, the, the sky and there's nothing in the sky. And then you go to something very detailed, like the cockpit, or you look over at the, the hills, or you look at uh, um, some of the buildings. Uh, then I find in between that transition, it seems to be when it really affects it. So. Change that to force 45 ASW enabled, and that should take care of that. So hopefully that gives you guys um, some stutter free flying. So it really did help me and uh, hopefully it helps you guys as well. The other section here, I'll just mention this before we get out of the tool here, is the visible HUD. If you're having issues um, and you don't know what's causing the issues, you can't tell what speed you're running your system at, go into the visible HUD. Open it up and uh, put it on performance. And that'll allow you to see your frame rate and a lot of other details. But the frame rate is going to be displayed when you um, have it on performance. So try that out, see if it works for you. Okay, now that you have that set up, make sure that this is done after you open up X Plane 11. So when you first go to start up, start up X Plane 11. Open up your debug tool, or have your debug tool open, that's fine. But once you're in X-Plane 11, and you throw your headset on, you might notice it's not taking effect right away. This is because you have to, usually you have to adjust it while you're in uh, X-Plane 11. So uh, if you open it up, actually get right into your, your flight. Um, take off your headset for a second, come over here, adjust this, add in the pixels you want. Or pixel setting and then come down change this even if it's on the right setting change it to disabled or auto or something and then go back to force 45 asw enabled and that'll hopefully kick it on and uh, that should give you a smooth experience it does for me and i hope it does the same for you all right guys thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you guys in the next video also check us out at vrflightworld.com. That's vrflightworld.com. We also have a podcast 
and you can find us on iTunes. Thanks. Talk to you later.